In this lesson, let's learn about definite integrals. First, let's talk about what a definite integral is. A definite integral is a formula expressed by integral upper limit b, lower limit a, f of x, dx. Next, we will discuss the definition of a definite integral. A definite integral is defined as one of the indefinite integrals of the function f of x, where f of x is the upper limit substituted into f of x minus the lower limit substituted into f of x. Next, let's actually try to find the definite integral. One of the definite integrals of 3x squared is x cubed. And if we substitute in 3 for the upper limit of 3x squared, we get 27. And if we substitute in 2 for the lower limit, we get 8. So the definite integral is 19. This is how we use indefinite integrals and definite integrals to find the difference in values. Now let's do some practice. Press the pause button and try to solve the practice problem. Once you're finished, press the resume button and mark what you got correct. Now let's check our answers. The answers to number one and two are as follows. Were you able to answer both questions correctly? Finally, let's review what we have learned. First, let's talk about what a definite integral is. A definite integral is a formula expressed by integral upper limit b, lower limit a, f of x, dx. Next, we will discuss the definition of a definite integral. A definite integral is defined as one of the indefinite integrals of the function f of x, where f of x is the upper limit substituted into f of x minus the lower limit substituted into f of x. Next, let's actually try to find the definite integral. One of the definite integrals of 3x squared is x cubed. And if we substitute in 3 for the upper limit of 3x squared, we get 27. And if we substitute in 2 for the lower limit, we get 8. So the definite integral is 19. This is how we use indefinite integrals and definite integrals to find the difference in values. That concludes this lesson.